Hi friends, welcome back to Circle Time with Miss Macon. Let's begin by singing our hello song. Are you ready? Okay. To all my friends in our preschool, hello is what I say to you. H-E-L-L-O, 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 hello to all of you. To all my friends in our preschool, hello is what I say to you. H E L L O H E L L O H E L L O hello to all of you. Hello friends. Okay friends. So this week we have been learning all about a special animal. This animal begins with this sound. B B. Hmm, what letter makes the sound B? If you said Kiss your brain. Mwah. The B says B, and we're learning all about B, 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 bears. So now I have a question for you. What color are bears? Bears can be black. Bears can be white. Some bears can be brown just like this brown bear that we're learning all about this week. My friends, we started to read our book. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? And as we were reading, we were being introduced to different animals that were different colors. Who remembers hmm, what animal made this sound? Hmm, quack, quack, quack. If you said duck, kiss your brain again. Mwah! Duck, and what color are ducks? That's right, friends, ducks are yellow. Let's do another one. We also read about another animal in this book. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? We learned about this animal that makes this sound. Nay, nay. What animal makes that sound? makes the sound nay nay and our horse was the color blue all right one more one more let's do one more this animal is usually a pet that some friends may have at home this animal makes the sound ruff, ruff, ruff. what animal makes the sound ruff, ruff. if you said dog you are absolutely correct. Kiss that brain again. Mwah. Right now, you should have had three kisses on that brain. And this is our white dog. So guess what, what friends? We're going to be learning all about colors. And I have a brand new song to introduce to you guys today. Are you ready? So, my friends, before we get started, I need to make sure you guys know the tune to this song. If you know the song, Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, you're going to absolutely know the tune to this song. It'll be easy for you guys to remember. So, I have my colors here. This is my color song. And my color song goes to the same tune as head, shoulders, knees, and toes. It goes like this. Red, yellow, green, and blue, green, and blue. Red, yellow, green, and blue, green, and blue. Purple, orange, brown, and black. Red, yellow, green, and blue, green, and blue. Now that you have been introduced to our color song, would you like to try to sing along with Miss Macon? Okay, let's do it together. Red, yellow, green, and blue, green, and blue. Red, yellow, green, and blue, green, and blue. Purple, orange, brown, and black. Red, yellow, green, and blue, green, and blue. Awesome job, friends. So, my friends, we just learned a new song, right? We just reviewed some of the colors that were in our book. But remember, we're still talking and learning about bears. And specifically this week, we're learning about this bear. What do we call this bear? We call this bear brown bear. So, my friends, I want us to explore some colors today. I want us to see what colors can make brown. What do you think? 
So my friends, we're gonna start with our three primary colors. Miss Macon has a little bit of paint on my plate. I have the three primary colors. I have red, can you say red? I have yellow, I have blue right on the bottom. And I just took a little bit of paint because I want to explore mixing with you today. So if you have your paint, you can come right along and join Miss Macon because we're gonna experiment today and practice mixing colors because guess what? We're gonna learn how to make the color brown, just like our brown bear, okay? So, Miss Macon has her paper here. I'm just gonna bring it over to our board. And I have my paintbrush and my cup of water, okay? And we're gonna get ready to paint. So first, I'm gonna start with red. I'm gonna get a little bit of red, just a little tiny bit. And I'm gonna paint a little circle, so I'm gonna go around and around, around and around, as much as I could. <gasps> Looks like I ran out. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush again because Miss Megan doesn't like to mix colors. I like to keep my colors nice and neat. Then Miss Megan is gonna get some yellow. So what I'm gonna do is put my yellow paint on top of my red paint that I already started. So I'm putting my yellow right on top of the red. Oh my goodness, my friends. I want you to see this. What happened to the red circle? When I added the yellow, it turned a different color. It turned orange. Wow, I wonder what would happen if I, if I add some blue on top of this orange circle. Okay, let me put it back here. Let me clean my brush, one, two, three. And I'm gonna get my final color. I'm gonna get some of my blue, just a little bit, okay? Then I'm gonna also put my blue on top of my orange. And I'm painting and maybe I'm gonna add a little bit more blue on top. Oh my goodness, friends, I'm seeing some magic happen with this paint. I'm noticing that my orange circle is turning Brown. Whoa! We just made the color brown. First, we added our red paint. Then we put our yellow paint on top of our red, and it turned what color? Orange. Then finally, we added some of our blue. And guess what? It turned our orange circle brown. So my friends, I want you to have a good time today exploring your colors and mixing your colors and let me see if you can make the color brown. Okay friends, so at this time, we are ready to go and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye friends, bye bye friends, bye bye friends, I see you next time. Bye bye friends, bye bye friends, Bye, bye, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.